Hey everybody. A little while ago I set up an experiment growing a few different plants that I'd collected out of the backyard and I'm growing them underneath of a low budget 2700k floodlight and I just wanted to see what they would do under 2700k light and only a low budget LED that does not have a full spectrum light. So this light is basically the equivalent in quality to a 2700K fluorescent light bulb, even though it is an LED. And there's a big discussion out there in general about the difference between using 6500K versus 2700K for growing your plants. And I do want to talk more about that. But before I did, I wanted to just shoot a little bit of video and do a little bit of an experiment so we'd have something to actually look at and kind of talk about once we move a little further and get into more detail talking about this. So what we're looking at here is a variety of plants. Uh, this one here is Rutabecchia or Black Eyed Susans. It's the Maryland State Flower. And you can see we are getting enough growth that we're going to see some flowers off of it. I've got no control or anything, so this is not any kind of scientific experiment. I just kind of wanted to see what would happen. I'm familiar with how these plants grow, and so by looking at them myself, I can see how well they're doing. And I'm surprised. It's doing better than I thought. We've got a tiger lily that I did not expect to actually develop flowers, but it did develop all of the little bulbs every single one of these is like the equivalent of a small bulb it'll just develop a little root well i was gonna say they're already starting to drop off of it i've already lost a few well i can't get one of these without there we go so that is what it looks like so you can even see the roots starting to develop if you just throw that on the ground that little root will dig itself in and that is a contractile root that will pull itself down and then dig it in and pull it down and this will self-bury to the correct height and in a year or two you'll have a little tiger lily that's producing more of these and before you know it you'll have a lot of tiger lilies uh, so I will say in addition to all the other plants I sell aquatic plants hostas all that kind of stuff from the yard uh, if you're interested in tiger lilies, let me know. I've got a million of these little bulbs, and I'll send you a bunch of them uh, for a decent price. So I will put my email down below, and if you're interested in that or any other kind of yard plants or whatever, you can check out some of my yard tour videos and see what's available. Uh, i got all kinds of stuff, so check it out. Email me. We can talk. Um, but that did develop enough that we've got bulbs growing. My lower light kind of stuff down here is doing well enough, but it's not really flourishing. Uh, this is a type of stone crop. I'm not really sure what it is, uh, what it's called. I know it's just a type of stone crop. And you can see the flower, the leaves on the end are kind of small, and they're sort of petering out. This isn't really, you know, thriving. It's not growing vigorously. Uh, back here, we've got some Christmas fern. That's doing pretty well. We've got new growth coming off of that. Again, not super dense, but it is new growth. And my hosta back there looks really well. That's doing great. And I'm getting new fronds here on my fern. This is actually a new frond, too, that got a little burnt up. But again, that's a fern. That's a low-light plant, and it's literally sitting a few inches away from the floodlight. So we've got no real air circulation down here. Um, this, you know, just not ideal conditions. And remember, this is a 2700K low budget LED floodlight that I got at Walmart. This is a great value brand LED. Uh, I think you can get a four pack of these for $12 or something. They're not expensive. And it is a 2700K bulb. And you can see, again, we're not doing anything fantastic, but it's growing just fine. So the idea that I wouldn't be able to grow any of these plants unless I was using a 6500K is just not true. And then, as I said, when we get to talking a little bit more about uh, color spectrum and color temperature and light spectrum and all that, when we go into the more in-depth video, uh, I'll get more into that. But with this being a low-budget LED, it's got a very limited spectrum, and yet we're still producing this much growth. 
So I'm, you know, I'm not unhappy with what I'm seeing. I'm actually kind of surprised. I didn't expect to get this much growth. The fact that we're actually going to get flowers out of these is surprising to me. Not so much because you're supposed to use the 2700K for flowering, but I put these in here when they were not flowering. I put them in there when it was much smaller and it has actually grown up and developed all those flower buds and now it looks like that. And in another day or two, these are going to be fully open. Again, this one here is... Uh, pretty close to open now. So again, not a whole lot of point to this, nothing to really compare it to. I just wanted everyone to have a look at my little experiment, mainly because the tiger lily is done and all these little bulbs were starting to fall off and I wanted to make sure I got some video of these before they were gone. So again, check my email down below if you're interested in these. I can send you a small bag full of them uh, for a reasonable price if you're interested in some tiger lilies and, and they breed prolifically. So once you've got them, you'll have plenty of them for year after year. You can have more and more and more. So, all right, everybody, thanks for watching. I'm going to call that one good. Make sure you're subscribed. You never know what you're going to get with me. So I'll see you on the next one.